you look at any team that goes far in the NCAA tournament, they have good point guard play. It's almost 100% guaranteed. Now, because of that, there's a spot on every college team for a really good point guard. So I'll teach you how you can emulate some of these qualities that they all share. Number one is great pace, which I define overall as the ability to change speeds fluidly, deceptively, and within the context of the game. So under that, I think of there being micro pace and macro pace. So this sounds really complicated, but it's simple. Micro pace is plays like this, making quick changes of speed that throw off the defender slightly, slowing down and raising up to get them to relax, stopping a bit to sell a shot, all the type of stuff that goes into one or two dribbles. And then we have macro pace, which is the overall speed these guys play at. So the overarching ability to stay controlled in the mid-range and make a pass like this. Playing relaxed as hell until it's time to put the foot on the gas. And then very importantly, understanding your speed in terms of the situation that the game is in. So he sees here it's probably a good time to kill some clock, and he's able to protect that ball easily while still scouting the floor to make that pass. You can get both of these down, that's a big step one. Number two is being able to attack and disrupt the defense, but doing it in the most controlled way you can possibly imagine. So getting into the paint with an attack is at the core of disrupting the defense. Opponents have to collapse, the entire floor condenses, so whether it's a foul, a dime, bucket, life becomes much easier offensively. But anybody can get into the paint if they go full out bowling ball downhill and give up all of their control. So what's really impressive is being able to get into the paint with high speed and then control that into maybe a two foot finish with contact. A short jumper. A floater or two from mad far out. A step through. In the NBA, since there's not really a big directly into the paint most times, a lot of the finishes are higher speed right to the basket, not in college. Plus, being able to have control to make accurate passes at high speeds is impressive too. Number three is defense. Let's make this clear. If you can't defend other really good point guards, it's going to be tough to play at that level. Good thing is, it's more than possible to become a better defender through training. Now, I'm not going to go into crazy detail on it because I put out a ton of content recently and even an entire program, but here are a few big areas of focus. Number one, being able to close out on a shooter in a fast but controlled manner. Change their shot, but don't sell out for it, staying ready for that drive. Number two, if you do get beat, being able to recover and get back into that play. All great defenders get beat. How they recover is truly what makes them great many times. Third is getting through ball screens. When you're able to slip through that gap and blow up ball screens, that's huge. And then doing all this without fouling, so you can stay in the game and continue to make a difference. Number four is taking your opportunities. In a college system, you're not always going to be the guy going ISO or even taking plenty of dribbles within the offense. Even as a point guard, you'll likely be initiating the offense, letting the ball go, and then being a moving piece until it comes back to you. So if you can catch off of a closeout situation, you've got to be ready to kill that. And it's not just being ready for your chance, it's creating your chance by finding space on the perimeter, making that pass easy for your teammates, cutting, calling for the ball, and understanding the principles of moving off the ball. And this makes your shot selection that much more important. Sometimes we get impatient and just shoot for the sake of shooting, which won't fly in most situations. And finally, this means making the easy pass too. So taking the opportunity to get your teammates easy shot. And then lastly is having the balls to stay composed, to take and make tough shots, to lead a team in a tight, pressure-filled game. This isn't something tangible, it's something that comes through experience, poise, and being really damn good. So how can we train it? It's always tough to say. But for me, it starts with training in pressure-filled situations, embracing challenge, and overall just changing the way you think as a human. But we'll touch on this more later. So as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something and can apply something from this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Basketball for a lot more like this. Able to get in every time.